So every once in a while I'll get these black marks on the slides from the slide seals. And I've tried various things that I've had on hand around the house such as acetone, otherwise known as nail polish remover. Didn't like that. I've tried alcohol to no avail. I've tried goo. This stuff actually worked pretty decent with a little bit of rubbing. It was okay. I don't really like the smell of it or whatever this stuff is. I don't really care for it that much. So what I've started using is just a simple scrub brush with a little dish liquid on it. And I found that with a little bit of rubbing, it comes off pretty good. Pretty nice. Nice and clean. One night we were dry camping in a casino parking lot and this slide was in and our stairs were out and we were parked in an RV parking space that had a parking space on each side of us open and available. And when we were getting ready to drive off for the evening to go out into town, I thought, wow, what if someone comes along and doesn't see these stairs and it's pulling in at night because our slides in, it won't be as obvious that the stairs are out and what if they run into them because they can't see them. So what I decided to do was to put these sticky reflectors on each side of the stairs and now these shine very bright at night and we hope that'll do the trick if anybody comes driving along that'll help them see our stairs are out. There's several movable parts on the outside of an RV. For example, we have these stabilizer levelers, uh, the hinges and joints on our steps, hinges on the door, these locks, as well as on our four slides, we have two gear bars on each one. And all of these require lubricant to make them function well. And since they're outside, they're very prone to collecting dirt and dust. So I use a dry lubricant, and this is said to be dirt and dust resistant. Now I've tried a few different types of this, and they all seem to work about the same. So any that you can find should do the job. You can also use this on your bikes that you may have, or strollers and other things. But dry lubricant's the way to go for outside use. I've been using an insect spray around the RV for quite a while outside to get rid of wasps and bees. Sometimes they'll get into the pedestal and make a nest. And I found that a certain type of spray works really well and it's essentially non-toxic to pets and humans to an extent and it's made from mint oil and it's said to be poison free and it works really well on wasps but recently I found another use for it I had a squirrel get into the RV that came up through some tight little spot where wires go into the RV and I had heard that people use such things as mothballs and other dryer sheets and things like that because of the scent of it for like mice and so I thought well maybe it would work with a squirrel um, not so much they tend to just use that stuff for nesting material maybe not the mothballs but they they didn't uh, doesn't bother the squirrels much at all so I decided well maybe they won't like the smell of this stuff this mint oil so I sprayed it up in there and nearly immediately the squirrel came flying out of there, jumped down to the ground and took off and never came back. And one of the pleasant things about using this is I don't have to smell that really toxic poisonous spray from some of those other insect killers on the market. This stuff just smells like mint. Sometimes when I pull into a fuel station, I also want to clean my windshield. And the squeegee that they have available 
tends to be a little short wooden pole and it's not quite good enough to reach across my truck so I carry a long adjustable squeegee of my own. I just keep it in the back of the truck. When I need it I can easily reach the windows and also I can use it to clean hard to reach places on the RV, scrub off some of the road grit and uh, clean that and I can also do all of the windows with it. So having your own adjustable squeegee is very helpful. Want to take a step back in time?